Hello and welcome uh, to this introduction to the newer um, LED panel. This is uh, its model uh, number is PTF F26N. It's a very small light panel. It's got a filter on the moment. Um, I've just recently acquired two of these. Uh, this one uh, just today, and I've had one for about a week and been very happy with. It, so I ordered a second one. It's basically a 264 LED panel. It's capable of a, a coloured range from 3200 to 5600 and it's a very simple uh, panel to use. The reason I want this particular panel, if I go to uh, here, you can see I've got a, a Rostrum camera here. Let me just uh, place that underneath there for now and I'll, I'll take a shot of that in a minute. This is a Rostrum camera and I wanted to be able to light it. I've already got one mounted so if I click that on and switch it on you'll see it lights that and if I go to here it's lighting it here. And I want a second one because obviously I want an even distribution of light across it. And at the moment, it's it's obviously orientated towards this 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 one here, this particular light here. Let me go back to here so you can see it. So this particular light is orientated towards that. So that's the idea of that. Uh, and the second one will allow me to evenly light that across the across the board. And I want to be shown some objects where I don't want any shadows on those objects. And this will help me do that. So let me just switch that off and go back to here. Let me just explain how this works and how it is. It's very, very simple. The only control on this here is this button here, which is a clicky and a turny button. That's the technical term, clicky and turny. Uh, and it's got a, uh, a pin here for a power supply, and it's a 12 volts power supply that you use. Um, the batteries it takes, as I said before, are the, I didn't say before, I don't think, it takes an NP F750 or 970. This is a 970, I think. Have a quick look. Yes, it is a 970. So in order to get this to work, I just simply drop that into there. You'll see the pins for the battery are here. Uh, and there's the, there's the female part of that particular battery. Pop it in there, click it in, and it's ready to go. When it switches on, it indicates 99. Uh, this phased me initially because when I started to use this with a power supply without the battery, I got a, uh, I got a, I got a, an L0 symbol in here, and that what that what that meant was the actual voltage was too low to drive the um, to drive the LEDs. But when you switch, when I insert the battery. That in, let me just take it out, it's probably storing it. When I insert this for the battery, it's telling me that this is actually, the the, um, the 99 there was telling me that the battery is sufficient to, to, to drive this. Now, in order to switch it on, uh, and I was phased by this, if I click it, nothing happens. You get the 99 to indicate that this battery is okay for it. What you need to do is you need to click and hold it. And when you hold it, after a second or two, it comes on. You can see it's actually come on now. And so the, this control, uh, this is a dual function control um, in terms of what it does. So click it once and it starts off and it, it, it starts off at, at 10%. And then you can turn it right up uh, to um, or 99 or 100%. As it does actually say 100% in the brochure, but it just goes to 99. And that's a relative thing. It's, it's a dimmer taking it from 10% of its power up to 99% of its power with the corresponding change in the light level. You can see how bright that is. If I click, uh, let me just turn that down again to 10%, just in case having it inverted like that, it affects the... Um, it actually affects it in some way, the, the LEDs, by overheating. So if I click it again, this LED comes on, and this is now the uh, the, the, the colour temperature from 5600 down to, I can take it down, which is a warmer colour, to 3200. Um, uh, you may be able to see that is actually slightly warm. You can see the slight warmer glow there. I'm not an expert on colour. Um, I, it, it, you know, I just, I just filmed to get it well lit and, and hopefully it's not, it's not too bad. So that is the, uh, let me just go to this camera here. So that's basically it. There's nothing, no more sophistication in that. The, the only other thing you can do, let me try and do this with this of a May. I'll just go to this camera here, which is camera three. So there it is there. It's got a filter that you can place on it, which will actually give you just uh, disperses the light a little bit and makes it a bit softer. Um, I don't think it is orientated in any direction. It just slides into the panel there, and that's it. So that's basically it. You can see it's a pretty good, uh, a, a good, um, a good LED panel. It does it does what it says on the tin, and it's pretty good. So if I let me just go back to here, if I may. Yeah, so it does what it says on the tin. It's a good value for money. It's actually only, I think it, if I go to YouTube here, let me just go to YouTube here. I think it was 27, I got it for £25. It's around about £27, 
27 dollars 30 dollars pretty much dollars and pounds are the same when we come to pay for things over here taxes are different in different parts of the world so i'm very happy with a, a 25 pound i got it for 25 pounds was on special offer got and so i've got two of them now in order to do that so it's worthwhile doing so i hope that's been useful let me just go back to here if i may and just go back to there and yeah so that's it that's basically it, it and its uses so I hope that's been useful. Um, thanks for staying to the end. It's always good to stay to the end. I appreciate uh, a like. And if you want to subscribe, subscri subscribe. It's not essential for me. I'm doing this for fun. So I'm not, in, I'm not involved in trying to generate any income from this just to do it for the sheer pleasure of it. So I look forward to seeing you perhaps in the next video. Oh, by the way, just while I remember, the power supply is also, if you go back to here, my apologies for this because I'm jumping around here. But if I go back to here, if you look on the Amazon, recommended with it is a power supply, particularly on the UK site. So that power supply, which is 4.5 volts up to 12 volts, with a nice clicky switch at the back of the power supply. It's a beautiful uh, power supply. I use it for this camera here. This, uh, this particular camera here, I use that because I've got a dummy battery in there. My very first video, this is my third video of the site. My very first video, I've got a dummy battery in there. So if you need to, you could, uh, you could, it get that and power that with that or with a battery that you have one of the um one of the uh sort of um np batteries the 750 or the 970 so i hope that's been useful i look forward to seeing you on the next video and uh, you take care and bye for now